Hello Call of Duty Elite game and stud muffin athletes. Ghost of Eight here coming with a very interesting video today. I hope you're all doing great, but I'm making a YouTube video and I hope you like it. If you like it, make sure to subscribe, guys. Hit that like button and leave a comment down below, guys. Alright, so I have been two boxing in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. And the gameplay behind you is going to be me getting a nuke. A 30 kill streak game, dropping a nuke, pushing the button, old school, kaboom. I noticed in the last video or last couple of videos where I referenced two boxing, some of you were not privy to what that means and what's going on. So for those of you who do not know what two boxing is, very quickly, here is what two boxing is. You have two copies of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 on two different platforms. Personally, I have one on PC and on PlayStation. The PC account is my main account with the proper stats. The PlayStation 5 account is for the dumb, dumb lobbies. That's where you go and play a couple of games, five to 10 games, and absolutely dump your stats to the lowest possible skill rating, the lowest possible kill death rating, and you walk around like you don't have a clue what you're doing. The skill-based matchmaking will now kick in for that dumb dumb lobby, dumb dumb account, and give you the easiest lobbies possible. And then on the PlayStation 5, you try to find a game. And while it's searching for a game, you have your PC account or Xbox, whatever their platform you're using, have it on standby on your friends list, ready to join session. And once the game starts to find a match and you start to fill a lobby with your dumb dumb account you immediately join session as fast as you can so now you're put into the dumb dumb lobby with your dumb dumb account the game starts and now you're playing in the lobby that is intended for your dumb dumb account but you're actually pretty good at the game or half decent and you get to have fun and you have circumvented the skill base matchmaking and that my friends is two boxing i'm telling you right now man holy shit Black Ops 6, Call of Duty in general, since Modern Warfare 2019, as soon as they started disbanding lobbies, this game was cooked. And anybody, present company included, so when I insult everybody here, I'm insulting myself, but anybody who played this game once we knew the jig was up, once we saw the skill-based matchmaking, once we saw the engagement optimization matchmaking, once we realized what the fuck was going on, Anybody who stuck around in this franchise, present company included, is a complete and other mark ass. But the Black Ops 6 video game, man, and when you're two boxing and whatnot to stay back on track and get to the point here, really, 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 really exposes, which we already knew already, but like my perspective on this has completely even been blown up. Like my third eye is so wide open. But what you realize about Call of Duty is that the only thing that keeps it selling, that keeps your kids playing it, keeps people like myself who used to play it, is the dopamine addiction. Chasing a good game and the feeling that comes with it is the only thing that this game has going for it. The Black Ops 6 hype is already over. Multiplayer for the last 15 years, really, the only thing they did ingenuity-wise is the jetpacks. That was something they actually had a different. But Black Ops 6 is just like every other Call of Duty and all the other Call of Duty before it, it has nothing new, exciting, or creative, or imaginative, or any ingenuity. It's the same game every year, and they pull that little three-card Monty, little ball underneath the cup trick, content-wise, and they just give you something, and like, oh, well, next year we're going to put red dots back on the minimap. And then the year before that, we take them away, and now we've got the original multiplayer system with the prestige. Oh my god, so exciting. And just regular unlocks now, and just a regular pick 10 system, and then next year they'll be like, oh, we're trying something new that's not new, it's the old school, we're taking red dots off, but this time we're going to add gay flags and trans flags. God bless Klaus Schwab, God bless the World Economic Forum. The point is that the face chasing a good game and the feeling that comes with it is the only thing that they have in Call of Duty. However, the problem is this as well now, where it's completely just jackass, crazy, no point in playing a game. The whole system is just manipulating you though. So the good games you do have, for the most part, are just manufactured. They're not earned. You're completely just being manipulated from the beginning to the end. When you have enough bad games, the manipulation starts saying, well, we'd rather keep this guy hanging around. Let's give him some easy games now, like, like my two box in lobbies. And next thing you know, you have a good game. You're like, oh, the dopamine feels so good. I'm gonna stick around and try to chase that dragon some more. Whoa, dopamine overload. Also, 
all of you guys out there who are like 10th prestige or out there chasing camos and unlocking stuff, you're fucking losers, all right? Like, you're so excited to unlock something in a virtual video game that has no actual bearing in the real world, and then next year, it's all gone and nothing even matters. What are you doing, you absolute simp-ass dorks? Like, I like Call of Duty unlock stuff. You know what? How about you go out and unlock stuff in the real world and the actual contribute to making your life better, not some imaginary bullshit camo in a digitally represented world of video games, you simp-ass dork. My point, though, is is that Call of Duty Black Hawk 6 sucks and Call of Duty sucks and you're all being manipulated and when you two box you see the wizard behind the drapes behind the masks and you realize oh my god I didn't know the manipulation was this bad I didn't know the dopamine chasing was this bad because when you're playing Call of Duty Black Ops 6 and you're getting easy games you have no addiction you don't feel the need to go back and play more you just go around and actually have fun you're just enjoying yourself doing stupid stuff with stupid guns beating up on people and just enjoying for the actual fact of enjoying the game not chasing a dragon and then you don't have to keep going back and playing and feeling that need to keep going and going and going and you feel like a dirty little whore like your mom that's right tell that bitch to call me back because i thought with that putani punani was beautiful i loved it not as good as your sisters though that's because she's younger call me dr disrespect and with that weird shit i'm out of here i'm the ghost of a i'm the best you're the best better than all the rest and last but not least but really most importantly you dorks you stay black you question authority lunt the honky cracker reptilian shapeshifter Building a moon base heart. They're spraying chemtrail 7 Eleven. I'm telling you, the East Indian jab ja beat the goo 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 at the 7 Eleven. They're building a moon base heart. They're spraying chemtrail 7 Eleven. I told you, inside job. That Bohemian Gorge Alex Earth is flat. The moon landing was fake. Alex Jones is Bill Hicks. That's me. I'm Bill Hicks. We're on a ride, man. It's just a ride. White man, don't let bring you down. I'm not black, by the way, so building a black. Listen, I got a dad. My smoke alarm batteries have been changed. All right, and my dick ain't that big. Boom! I'm out. Leave a comment down below if you heard that last joke. That was funny.